Hey there, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what every button does on your iPhone and how to customize it. Let's jump in. Now, you'll be able to see on your iPhone on the right-hand side when you're looking at your iPhone is one button here. There's also a button here, a button here, and a button here. And depending on your model, you might even have a hidden button down here at the bottom right. Let's go over all of those and some quick tips on how to customize them. Now, the button on the side here, if you just tap on it, you'll see it makes your iPhone go black. You probably already know this, but there are some built-in hidden features as well. And if I double tap on it, you'll be able to see it opens up my Apple Pay. So you can tap twice quickly and it will open up Apple Pay. Now, if you press and hold on it, depending on your settings, you might have Siri turned on. So again, double tap to open up your wallet or Apple Pay, hold and press it, and that will open up Siri. But if I tap it three times, one, two, three, you'll be able to see it turns on accessibility, in my case, background sounds. So you can customize all of these depending on your preferences, whether you want those to do those things or to not do those things. It's completely up to you. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But next I wanna cover the camera button. So you'll be able to see on the bottom right hand side, there's no physical button, it's a little indentation. If you have an iPhone 16 or an iPhone 17, it will have that. And essentially all you need to do is press it and it will open up the camera. You can see I can lightly press on it and take my finger and zoom up and down. I can press on it again lightly and I can switch between the camera and the styles and tone. I can go to zoom or depth. And if I wanted to take a picture, I can again press on it and it will take the picture. So essentially, this is a quick and easy way to manage your camera. Again, this is only in an iPhone 16 and an iPhone 17. You'll be able to manage your camera just by using this little button slider at the very bottom right. Now you'll be able to see at the left-hand side, the very first button is a volume down. So if I tap on that, you can see at the very top, the button makes the ringer go down. If I tap the button right above it, that makes the ringer go up. You can see just like that, the ringer volume goes up or the volume when you're listening to maybe a movie or something like that, it will get louder. At the very top left here is an action button. And keep in mind, this is only available if you have an iPhone 15, iPhone 16, or an iPhone 17. Now, if I press and hold on this, I have it set to either turn on or off silent mode. If you have an older iPhone, it'll be a toggle switch, toggle it towards you to turn on ringer mode, away from you will turn on silent mode. And then you'll be able to see at the very back of your iPhone is another hidden button. There's not an actual button, but you can set it up like a button. And to do that, all we need to do is go to your settings, and we'll go to accessibility. And then let's scroll down until we find touch on this list. There it is. And then we'll go to back tap. Now, double back tap or triple back tap means you can either tap the back of your iPhone twice or three times, and it will perform a certain action. Now, let's set a double tap. And in this case, I want to turn on the flashlight. So when I turn this on and I double tap the back of my iPhone, you can see I'll double tap it. You can see the flashlight turns on just like that. You can see that and I can double tap it again and it turns off just like that. Now there's ways to customize all of this. And one of the useful ways to customize these buttons is this action button at the top left. All you need to do to customize that is go back to the very beginning of your settings here. Once you're at the very beginning of the settings, you can see if you scroll down, there is the action button. You can choose to have it turn on or off silent mode. You can have it turn on, on or off a of focus mode, like do not disturb or something like that. It can open up your camera. It can turn on visual intelligence, your flashlight, voice memos, 
recognize music, magnifier, controls, shortcuts. You can see tons of different things. And of course, you can just completely disable it if you don't want to use that button. But a lot of people keep it on something simple like the silent mode. So you can quickly and easily turn on or off the silent mode. You can set this to whatever you want and whatever is useful to you. Now, there's some hidden other things that your buttons can do. You can take a screenshot. So press and hold the volume up and side button at the same time, the power button. You can see by doing that, it takes a screenshot. So essentially, you can take a screenshot just using those buttons. But you can do other things as well. If you press and hold the volume up and side button, not quickly press them, but press and hold, you can see now it says slide to power off. You can turn your phone off this way. You can force restart your phone as well. To force restart your phone, this is if your phone is kind of buggy or glitchy or causing issues. You can press the volume up, press the volume down, and then press and hold that side button until you see the Apple logo. So it'll go completely black, and then you'll see the Apple logo. That's when you remove your finger again. Press the volume up, press the volume down, and then press and hold that side button until you see the Apple logo. Now let's customize some of these buttons because you might want to change how they look and feel. We already talked about this action button, but let's go back and customize the volume up and the volume down button as well. To do that, all we need to do from your settings is scroll down to sounds and haptics. And now you can see change with buttons, the ringtones and alerts. So if this is turned off, you can see I can press the volume up and volume down. And what this does is it changes the volume of certain like songs, movies that you're watching. It doesn't change the ringer volume. So there are two different volumes. One volume is for the ringer, how loud it is when you get notifications and when people call you. And the other volume slider is for stuff like music or movies when you're watching those, how loud do you want those to be? So if you turn this on, change with buttons, it will change the ringtone you can see here, I can go all the way up and it's changing this slider, indicating that when I get a call, it will be really loud. But if you prefer, you can turn this off and now these buttons instead of that will control the volume of movies and videos, music, etc. You can also just customize them by swiping down from the top right. And here's that little slider that customizes that as well. You can use that slider. It's completely up to you. Now let's change and customize some of these actions for the side button. Now I already told you that you can press and hold it if you wanted to open up Siri or you use Siri, but you can turn that feature on or off. So within the beginning of your settings, let's scroll down to Apple Intelligence and Siri. It might just say Siri and search depending on your phone. And now from here, talk and type to Siri. You can see press side button for Siri. If I turn this off, I can press and hold that side button and I can hit don't use Siri and you can see it doesn't do anything. It doesn't turn on Siri or if you like that feature, turn it on and then you can press and hold to have Siri pop up. You can also just choose to turn on Hey Siri if you wanted to access Siri that way instead. Now you'll be able to see if I double tap on it, you can see that it opens up the credit card or Apple Pay. You can also turn this on or off depending on your preference. To turn it on or off, we're gonna go back to the very beginning of your settings again. And then all we need to do is scroll down until you find Wallet and Apple Pay. Within here, you can customize it by going to Apple Pay Default. And then from here, scroll down a little bit to double click side button. If you turn this feature off, you can double click that side button and it won't do anything. Or if you like that feature, essentially this is if you're at a store and they accept Apple Pay, you can just quickly double tap that side button and use the NFC card reader to essentially put your phone right next to the pay you know, kiosk or whatever it is, and you'll be able to pay that way. So you can choose to turn that on or off. Another thing I would recommend doing is going back to the very beginning of here and let's set your iPhone side or power button to call emergency services like 911 or to not do that. To do that, we can scroll down until we get to emergency SOS and you can see call with five button presses. If you rapidly press the side button five times, this button five times, 
it'll start counting down and then it will call emergency services like 911 or something like that. Now, keep in mind, if you like that feature, you can turn that on. Or if you don't like it, you can turn it off. This similar goes with the call and hold to release. So it says, if you continuously hold the side button and either volume button, a countdown begins and then it will again call emergency services. So this is helpful for some people, but it's not helpful for everybody. You can choose whether to turn it on or off. Depending if you keep your phone in a purse or in a bag, it might be pressed a bunch of times while in that purse, maybe accidentally calling emergency services or something like that. Now, another thing that I talked about was the accessibility. If you press that click side button three times. So we can go back to the very beginning, tap on accessibility. And then from here, we can go to the side button feature. From here, you can see it says I can click it three times to be able to access this uh, accessibility, but I can change how quickly I have to press it as well. I can change the default speed to just the default, to a little bit slower, or to the slowest, depending on your preference, how quickly you wanna be able to tap that side button to be able to register the Apple card or something like that. Now you can also go out of here and then you can go to the bottom and choose, where is it? Accessibility shortcuts. Again, this is where you triple click that side button. If you press it three times, you can have it turn on any one of these different ones. I have background sounds turned on where it kind of makes these background kind of static or you know white noise sounds if you wanted to turn that on or a bunch of other things you can choose to turn those on. Now, the last thing that I wanna walk you through is this camera button. So to adjust and set this camera button, we can go back to the beginning of your settings, tap on camera here, and there you can see is camera control. Now, if you want to, you can have that camera control turned on by a single click, a double click, or if you don't necessarily want that, you can tap on camera here and instead you can switch this to none. If you don't like that feature and you don't like that camera button, essentially setting it to none means it won't do anything. You know, you can basically set it so that it won't open up your camera and you can switch it to none. Again, you can customize tons of different things on your iPhone, the back tap, the power button, the volume up and down, the action button. We've covered all of those.